Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. So before I get into today's video, this may be one of the last videos I'm actually holding this mic. Some of you guys have commented and said that mic's not meant to be held, and you're right. It's not meant to be held, but I've been doing it for like a month now since my last one broke. It just literally snapped one day. And uh, I have a new one coming in tomorrow, so that should be exciting. We'll see if I like it or if I decide to keep holding this. Because honestly, after like 10 minutes of filming, my arm starts to get tired. But usually these videos are, you know, less than 10 minutes, so it's usually fine. But anyways, super exciting update. I know all you guys really wanted to hear that. And now moving on to talking about Jordan Love. And I want to go through some quotes from different Packers players um, that were said in the past week or so about Jordan Love and sort of what they've seen from him, what they sort of think he's looking like right now. So I was reading an article from Rob Domofsky. I think he put it out earlier this morning um, about Jordan Love. And I'll link the article down below. But this is where all these quotes come from. And so I want to sort of discuss that. So first off, with Jordan Love right now, he's already been here for two years. Um, you know, last last year, before, before this year, we were debating if Aaron Rodgers was going to return. There was lots of uncertainty. This year, it was sort of similar a little bit, but of course, Rodgers decides to come in, sign that three-year, $150 million contract, you know, meaning that Jordan Love's time is not yet in Green Bay. And now the question is, you know, will he ever start at quarterback for the Packers? Because right now, with Rodgers under contract for three years, you know, there's just uncertainty to how long Rodgers is going to play. Is it possible Rodgers retires after one year? I say it's definitely possible, but my prediction would be Rodgers at least plays two years. Maybe he plays all three, and if that happens... Um, maybe the Packers decide to come in and trade Jordan Love. And that's one thing lots of people have been questioning, you know, should the Packers trade Jordan Love and get some value for him? Um, but I'll discuss that after I read these quotes. So first off here from A.J. Dillon, he says this, he's got his swagger back. And then he says, I don't know about losing it. I just think it was more than it was his first ever game, said Dillon. The Packers running back who was in the same draft class with Love. I was blanking bricks when I got there for the first time. I was blinking bricks the whole season my rookie year. It's just part of the game. That's why I'm happy for him. Get those bad throws out now and go build the confidence. Figure out how to bounce back. So last year, we saw Jordan Love in a couple games. The game where Aaron Rodgers missed. He comes in, plays versus the Chiefs, and he didn't look amazing. The Packers' offensive line wasn't really giving him too much help that game. He did play a little bit better than Mahomes because Mahomes had a pretty terrible game, but he didn't look amazing. And then we saw him in, what was it, week 18, week 17, the final game of the Packers season. He looked all right in that game. And I think people are just questioning, you know, if he is ever going to become an elite quarterback. Does he have the potential to live up to, you know, being drafted in the first round by the Packers a couple seasons ago? And I, I've said this in, in previous videos this offseason that I honestly still think it's too early to judge Jordan Love. And as A.J. Dillon was just saying there, you know, he sort of thinks he's building his confidence. He's going out there. He's coming in now to his third season. And, you know, he's, he's you know, progressing a lot. Then we have here Randall Cobb speaking on Jordan Love. He says, I think the confidence is there. Packers receiver Randall Cobb said of Love, just watching him process things a little bit quicker than he had before. I always thought he threw a great ball, but it's all about doing it with the defense in front of you and putting it in tight windows. So Randall Cobb says he is, uh, you know, progressing. He's, you know, processing things a little bit quicker, which makes sense, you know, for any player coming into their third year. You know, they've had the time to, you know, understand the scheme, understand the system, sort of know what he, he's supposed to do, and now he can sort of work on implementing those things. And so I think when we look at Jordan Love, one thing that I think can be underrated is his the fact that he's been here in Green Bay for two years. He knows the system. He's learned from, you know, future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers, and I think that all those factors has allowed him to, you know, grow into a potentially um, solid quarterback. We'll have to see what he does in the future if he does have opportunity. But I think just the time he's had with Rodgers, the time he's had on this offense, is something that can't be, I guess, um, you know, overstated. Because I do think that that is going to lead to him, you know, hopefully being a solid quarterback, whether it's for the Packers and whether it's not for the Packers. Then finally here we have Malik Taylor, Packers wide receiver, speaking on Jordan Love. You can just tell in his body language, Taylor said, he just looks really relaxed. I noticed it from day one of this offseason program. And just speaking to him, it seems like he has a different mindset going into this season. So from all three of these players, they're sort of noting how, you know, Jordan Love is progressing, which makes sense. He's coming into his third season. He looks more comfortable. He looks more relaxed. You know, he has he has a lot more experience than he had when he came into, you know, the Packers organization just two years ago. And so when we look at Jordan Love, I don't think it makes sense to trade him right now. I said this recently. I just don't think it makes sense right now to trade him. The Packers still need a backup. We also have Kurt Benkert, who I think I mean, could potentially be solid. He had some nice throws. I saw in uh, OTAs, and so we always have we have him as well. But I do think it's too early to give up on Jordan Love. I think we have to allow time to to progress, and I do think there will be some decisions that have to be made after this season 
depending on whether Rodgers returns, which I feel like he will, um, considering his first two years are all guaranteed. Part of me feels like Rodgers will return. Um, that's sort of just my prediction. And so with that happening, the, the Packers have to decide because it is Jordan Love's third year after this year if they want to, um, you know, sign his get, you know, give him his fifth year option, which would make him. I think the fifth year option is like the the um, the average of his he's either top five or top ten players at the position. I think it's five. Can't remember right now exactly. But that would be a good chunk of change to pay Jordan Love that much. So I think they're gonna have to decide if they want to do that. And if they don't do that, then he'll have one year left on his rookie contract. And the question is, you know, what's gonna happen there? Will the Packers hold on to him? Will they trade him? If we look back to a somewhat similar scenario with Jimmy Garoppolo back in the day with the Patriots when Tom Brady was there, I think the Patriots held on to Garoppolo until like almost the end of his fourth year, and that's when they ended up trading him, uh, trading him away. And so maybe the Packers decide to do something like that if they think Rodgers will be here for longer. But let's say, you know, if Rodgers decides to retire after two years, uh, I mean, I, they don't know when he's going to retire. I mean, I'm guessing they don't know when he's going to retire. And so if in two years Rodgers retires, I think it's better just to hold on to Love because you'll have to pay him something, but you'll have to pay any quarterback something. And to have someone, Jordan Love, who's been in the system, been in the scheme, learned from Rodgers, unless he just has not progressed, um, you know, in the way that he plays. I, mean, I think the Packers can clearly tell if he has, if he has it or if he doesn't have it. And so unless he just looks terrible, I don't see why the Packers would, you know, move on from him if they thought Rodgers could end up leaving because they spent the draft capital on him. He spent years learning. Um, so I feel like it would make sense to just sort of stick with him, play it out, see if he does well, and then sort of move on from that point. But it is good to see these Packers players saying he looks more relaxed, he looks more comfortable because, um, you know, it's, it's great to see him progressing like that. And we'll see. Uh, probably get to see him sometime in this preseason and we'll get to see you know how much better he may look in these preseason games coming into 2022 but that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching but if you guys have not subscribed feel free to click the subscribe button down below it's pretty simple just click it and then you're subscribed so feel free to do that if you haven't but thank you guys so much for watching here's my social media if you would like to follow me and i'll see you guys next time